Due to the Mother 3 translation being very close to being finished, I will be updating with two parts every day until it comes out to be sure that I'm on schedule with its release. Enjoy. Hey everybody, it's Chuck and Connor. Welcome back for more Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. All right. In the last part, we got this box that had a hammer in it that really hurt when it hit us on the head. I don't know. Anyway, you guys know what happened in the last part, all right? So anyway, in this part, we're gonna continue going through Boost Chart, and we're gonna get back to the awesome music. <laughs> Hit the switch. What happened? What was that loud noise? Check out Booster Pass. We're gonna want to go check that out later because it'll be something really cool for there, us there. Uh, in this room, real quick, you're gonna want to go behind these curtains, go in the back, and then when your control feels a little awkward, you're gonna want to come out. Check it out. We are 8-bit Mario. Not the exact sprite, but damn close. <laughs> If you try to leave the room, at <laughs> I love that. That is hilarious. Okay, anyway, let's go through here. I don't have to fight these guys, but actually, I think I will really quick just to get some experience. All right, come on, Mario. You can take this guy out in one shot with the masher. Look at that, 72 damage, and you only need to use, you only need to do two damage to him to kill him. This will make your battles so much easier for a really long time. I'm not really, I'm not even kidding you there. Your battles are going to be so easy for the next couple of areas because you have that matter. I'd almost call it overpowered though, because you can't get it for like two or three more towns. Actually, I think it's two more towns, but anyway. Why did that only do two damage? What? Why did it only do two? I had the freaking masher! The freaking masher! I don't know. I've heard action commands in this game actually have three outcomes. It has perfect, meaning you did the timing absolutely the best you could. There is... Ooh, that was a good HP max. Really nice, because I was thinking of having to heal him in a second. Um, you have perfect, and then you have you kind of sort of got the timing, which means it'll do a little bit more than it usually would, and then you have fail, which means the damage is going to be completely unaffected. And then, of course, for guarding, it's the vice versa. Ah. Flamestone, what are you, freaking Sephiroth? Maybe this enemy was like the inspiration for Sephiroth, I don't know. That would be kind of creepy if it was. Speaking of which, I really do need to finish Final Fantasy VII when he says, Oh, nice, once again. Come on, Mallow, do more damage this turn to get another once again. Ah, damn it. Um, I knew he wasn't going to beat him much anyway. I really do need to finish Final Fantasy VII. Honestly, I have never played past, like, the end of this point. I never have, because every time I've sat down to try to play Final Fantasy VII, um, I always get near the end of disc one, or, you know, other times I don't even get out of disc one, even close to getting out of disc one, though, but, um, every time I go down to play it, I play it for a while, and then, like, something new comes out that I want to play instead, or I just lose interest or something, that it's just... It's one of those games that I actually think is too long. Like, it's almost too long, because I really just can't hold interest in it for long enough to be able to finish. This one can shoot bullet bills out of its mouth? I envy you, man. So, you wanna fight? Yeah! We wanna fight! That was a weird voice. Uh, anyway, um... Nah, you silence Bowser! Oh no, because Bowser is the most valuable mage on the team. Yeah, right. Um... What have you guys been playing lately? I've uh, been playing some Ocarina of Time, honestly. I have never beaten Ocarina of Time. I've come damn close, though, and I've gotten a ton of the secrets in there. Like, I think there was one time I got, like, 70-something gold sculptures or something. But I still, like, hadn't finished the game. Um, yeah, I've been playing that a lot lately. You know, I kind of really want to beat it for real this time. I, uh, just made it into the future. I just, I'm in the temple time right now as, uh, an adult Link for the first time. I love that game so much that I just never really... It's another game that's really good, though, but I've just never felt compelled enough to finish it. Um, well, we have some more of these raw bombs. I think I'm actually gonna take the time again to level up off these guys, you know, just really quick. Okay, I'll see you guys in just a moment. I'll show you guys video my guys level up. Okay, I beat all these guys anyway. Let's keep on going through here. And we have a save block. Nice! Let's use that. Booster Tower. I love Booster Tower. Booster is freaking awesome. He's one of my favorite characters unique to this game. 
take a look at Mr. Found Portraits in the order from oldest to youngest. Alright, so if you guys took a screenshot, like I told you to in the last part, um, you're going to be able to do this puzzle. Anyway, here's the order that you're going to want to do in case you were lazy and you didn't. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. And this is six. And you see real booster is in there and he spits a key out of his mouth. Found the elder key. Whatever. Use it on the store. Go inside. What is this? Chain Chomp. Oh, whoa. She's aggressive. Bowser, you know how to deal with these types. Work your magic. They gaze into each other's eyes. Aw, oh, Bowser's in love with a giant metal ball on a chain. I don't know. Mario, she's a bit shy. Look the other way, will you? They're probably doing something wrong back there. You can turn around now. She says she's been locked up ever since she took a bite out of Booster, so now she wants to stir up a little trouble. Wahaha! Here's a weapon for Bowser. You get the jump. Very, very cool weapon. I like it a lot. And I think it's something you can act you actually can't get from Bowser for a while. He raises uh, attack by ten. Uh, let's give him an accessory real quick. I didn't even think to do that. Um, I'll give him the wake up pin, I guess, just because it gives him more stats. I don't really need an antidote pin. It doesn't really matter what I give him. He doesn't have any armor yet. I totally forgot to give Bowser an accessory, which I probably should have done anyway. But anyway. I said anyway a lot just now. Let's keep on going through the tower! I love this area. It is such a cool area. Booster is such an awesome character. The music in here is so cool. The graphics are really cool looking, I have to admit. I'm not a graphic whore. Don't get me wrong. But this area is actually cool to even just look at. It's really nice. Alright, let's go ahead and take down these guys like we always do. Mallow, work your magic. Literally, work your magic. What do you mean you didn't beat him? Mallow, you suck! Come on! There's the timing on Bowser's new weapon, which I love. It's awesome. Go! Die! Yeah, shoot Mallow with a gunk ball. Silence him. He sucks as a mage. And just when I was believing you, just when I believed you could be more helpful than Gino in this area, you just have to go suck like that. I just wanted to try that because it's something I never did before. I never, I always kept Gino for this part, and I played through this part of the game probably like three or four times. Anyway, if you want to go over into the here, jump, and you will find a frog coin. There's an invisible box in an area that you can't see. I have to admit, that is kind of crafty of them to do that. Okay, so anyway. Let's go ahead and keep going. Go. Oh, wow. Frog coins. Mine! Oh, what is this? It's a trap! What are these jerks doing? Oh, they do quite a bit of damage, too. Drain. Let's see what you're called. You are the Fireball. Fireballs? Yum! Yeah, you guys saw that coming. <laughs> I missed that Super Mario World cartoon. And just like the Sparksters, they like have... Are they called Sparksters? Because if they are, that is a... Unintentional reference to Rocket Man Adventures. Anyway, let's just get the frog coins through here. Um... God, Rocket Man Adventures. That, that's a game that people keep recommending to me to that I should play, because they say it's like an underrated game that I would just love. Yeah, 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 you're attacking Mallow. Nobody cares. You suck, Mallow. <laughs> nah, he doesn't suck. I, I just love making jokes, though, because no one ever freaking uses him. You know, I haven't used that item that I got from that, you know, minor type, the minor guy. I mean, like, I just, the, the, us getting the Yoshi game right here just reminded me of that. I haven't even used it. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and go into our items right now. Check it out. The lucky jewel. Summons luck at will. Alright, so we can summon the luck thing at will if we want. Alright. Anyway, though, um, we're running a bit low on time right here, so I'm just gonna go and grab all these frog coins real quick and then cut it, alright? Um, come on. Don't take long to attack Mega Drain. Hey, you're ripping off Pokemon. Yeah, I'm kidding. This. 
attack was introduced in Pokemon like years and years after this came out. What do you mean I miss? I don't miss. You miss. I don't miss. Lucky. Nice. Okay, though. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess I actually am thinking I'll end it off right here. I'll get all the frog coins off camera before the next part begins. Alright, so anyway. Uh, if you like this part, subscribe to me up in the corner, big yellow button, give me a five-star views, download the video, and be sure to check my ones. And if I can stop missing all my attacks, see you guys later.